Hi Sagittarius, this is your reading with me for the next three months. We're going to have a look and see what is coming through, what messages, info, clarity I can give to you. And I just wanted to mention before I start that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to um, purchase any private services with me, they're also listed down below on, they're actually on my website. So that is shopmoonlightguidance.com. There are thousands of um, five-star reviews, which you can check out at the bottom of my website as well. Um, then there's also intention items on my website, which is what the reviews are all about. And so these are items for different areas of your life, which are handmade meditated with and staged and there's so many different intentions and then in all of those intention categories there's items like bracelets and necklaces and anklets and pom-poms and tassels embroidered cards ornaments you know um so intention pouches which you can put under your pillow your wallet or your purse there's crystals candles sage bundles you get my idea there's a lot of stuff on my website which is really amazing um of course because majority of it is handmade and uh, really really special as well so let me just show you as well we do have candles on there which are handmade plant-based they're safety tested and they're hand poured and they are really really special there's so many different ones for different um intentions as well if you are interested and yeah, everything is on there. All right, so you can check those out. And Sagittarius, let's begin with January. Okay, so let's say, let's say, I was gonna say say or see, let's see. Oh my gosh, okay. My words are a bit jumbled, but you know what? Some of you might deal with this in January because we've got a Mercury retrograde. You may find that your words also do get jumbled. Um, so that's really an interesting thing. When you have a Mercury retrograde, miscommunications can happen. Um, so just keep that in mind. But um, it's one of those things. I just kind of got this glimpse of like Mercury. Um, it's interesting. You've got here the strength card with justice. Now, in January, we've also got a Venus retrograde, which is illustrated by Libra. Now, justice is ruled by Libra. Libra is ruled by Venus. So what's really interesting here is that I feel like some of you are still trying to kind of wrap your head around certain situations and relationships and things that didn't quite work out but you're also trying to make peace with it at the same time you're trying to find balance and ground and stability within yourself where you feel so much better and happier and stronger and more uplifted and the strength card here shows that you're feeling courageous you know you're trying to move through obstacles and challenges and situations at times that just did not feel good that did not help you that did not make you feel happy or content or fulfilled or motivated it actually just made you feel so much worse and sad and frustrated you're trying to get through those obstacles you're trying to get yourself to a better place you're trying to feel so much more uplifted and it's sometimes very difficult because you don't know how to at times kind of deal with that energy um, and you don't know sometimes how it makes you feel because it's just a lot you know a lot to deal with um, so that's interesting um, but good karma comes your way because there's something here that's becoming so much more balanced okay so if this is about a relationship i feel like someone can apologize and own up to their mistakes let me just show you what happened there's a card balancing on my wrist yes there's a card there we go because <laughs> you know sometimes you can't see it off camera because you know it kind of cuts off like here so you wouldn't be able to see it but there it is yeah so you see here there's definitely some like interaction that I pick up on which actually makes you feel a lot more excited like wow okay like here I am you know doing my own thing but I'm actually being pursued I'm taking you know action is being taken towards me and I also feel here that you're feeling very creative in regards to other things in your life as well you're feeling like I can make this I can do this I can build this and so a lot of that fire energy along with justice is allowing you to manifest the things that you've wanted for a long long time and it's allowing this balance and harmony to really peak in your life at this time and come together at a time that just makes you feel so much happier as well we've got the ace of cups which is amazing ace of cups is beautiful because it really does represent such a powerful energy which is to do with a beautiful opening and opportunity in regards to love but also in regards to some good karma and some great communication that can happen however just keep in mind okay that communication it can become a little bit, okay, just a little bit miscommunicated here and there. Not completely, but just here and there. So, you know, it's it's just minor little things that you'll be able to correct anyways, but just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, you're feeling very intuitive in January and someone here clearly has something to say towards you. And uh, it's interesting because the more you actually care about yourself, which I know sounds really... It's not meant to sound up yourself. I just want to say that. I think it's important to take care of you, you know, to the point where it's not emotionally 
at your detriment, but I feel like sometimes it is really like good to take care of you, okay? <laughs> it's just something I want to say. I mean, I just feel like the more you take care of you, the better it is, actually, you know, so... Um, because that can also allow other people that perhaps haven't been so kind to you to realise that you're not always going to bend over backwards for them, and actually that can then trigger them to actually do something towards you, which I see happening here. Okay, so in February, let's see what's coming through your way. Ooh, money! Okay, so we have a lot of money coming your way. Money, a golden opportunity. We have the Four of Pentacles, which is someone telling you that perhaps they also want to explore things with you and have a little bit more stability with you, progress things a lot more with you. So not only do I see a money opportunity, but I also see here um, a real sense of somebody wanting to, uh, well, telling you that, you know, I'd like to explore things, see where things go, I'd like to continue to get to know you, things like that. And uh, it's interesting because in January, you know, you start to kind of have acceptance towards certain things, but then really it's a sense here of you feeling so much happier in February. You might even be asked out on a date in February. I see you working very hard with the Eight of Pentacles. The Empress, again, is Venus energies. The Venus retrograde is going to be over by the time you get into February. So, you know, February and Venus are quite powerful and quite strong um, because, essentially, um, you know, Venus is bringing you love and intimacy and excitement and joy and that's why I feel like again I just saw here that someone here wants to you know get to know you they want to explore things with you be around you you know take action and so the king of wands here is about you feeling actually really really strong within yourself like heck yeah you know I don't have to be the one always chasing I can give as much as I need to but also I, I can give as much as they are giving me without me overdoing it and then feeling emotional and feeling like oh my gosh like why are they not doing as much so it puts you in a real sense of well place of power sense of peace sense of fulfillment where you can work towards the things that you need to but you also feel excited because somebody here likes you cares about you respects you understands you but they are also able to be proactive and work towards you as you can also work on the things that you want to do one of the things that i see a lot is you know sometimes when people really are romantically feeling very good that's where all of their focus goes but here you're able to kind of balance things out which i think is really nice and so of course we do have valentine's day in february some of you may be asked out you might be given a gift things like that, okay, so I just wanted to mention that, it's nice, February I think brings you a lot of harmony and peace and joy and love, clearly, clearly, but you're also working really hard towards your goals, like that's not something that you are like straying away from at all, now we go to March, Four of Swords. Actually, I'm going to do four cards because that's pretty much what I was going to do. We've got Judgment here. Okay, so Judgment is really interesting because this is Pluto and Scorpio. Okay, so this is a transformation that takes place. The Four of Swords shows that you feel so much more balanced. And this is a real card of peace. You feel so much more peace. So you feel like there's a real sense of peace in March. You feel like you are in a place to make your own decisions. I feel like this person here is also going to ask you a question and then you can kind of be the person that has the ball in their court. So there's a decision in regards to love that you may make or a big decision in regards to your life in general that you might be making here. There's a real sense of healing and peace that comes with this though. So I think that's really, really exciting. And yes, it creates a transformation in your life. I think in a good way. I think in a good way. Let's see. Yeah, Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, in a good way. Because this is to do with a desire that you've always wanted. And so then it gives you peace because then you feel like, okay, I know where I stand. Page of Pentacles, it can be to do with a commitment in your life as well. And this can be to do with the fact that perhaps this person here really is trying to solidify things with you, which I think is quite fascinating as well. Like they're like, okay, do you really want to, you know, take things to the next level? I know it seems fast, but actually... I think that some of you may have already known this person for a while, um, or if this is a new person, it just feels right that it goes in this direction. Um, so yeah, there's a real sense here of one of your desires absolutely manifesting in March, and you actually having, or you being the person in the driver's seat position to be able to make that happen as well, which I think is actually really exciting. So that's what I see here for you. It's really exciting, actually. March is a really beautiful 
um, month where your desires actually manifest and you feel so much more in power and in control because you're actually making the decisions and you have so much more peace of mind. You're sleeping a lot better, you're feeling a lot better in this month too. So Sagittarius, this is your reading. If this resonates with you, of course, let me know in the comment section below. Um, if you claim this reading, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment down below. Check out the description box below for information on the private services, intention items and of course the free reading giveaway which I do every month. I also have TikTok and Instagram if you want to follow me on there. All the links are down below. I post short readings on there all the time. All right, take care everyone. Bye!